that's a good technique. But, I mean, just real quick, because you know this already. You know, so I'm here. You know, maybe I can't get him moving so well, right? Maybe he's giving me a, a tough time, you know? So, you know, I might pop him or something. I'm going to hit that and then go to the ankle pick. I hit a little Uchimata. It doesn't have to be beautiful, and that certainly wasn't. But I'm, I'm jacking that leg up, and once I jack the leg up here, I can't quite let go to that knee pick. Well, that one almost did make it. So I didn't get him tilted on the leg. He kind of went over for me. He's, he's my student, so he's nice to me. All right? So I'm in here. I hit this, I, but I don't get it. So I come right down. I still got him tilted. It's stupid to let him go back down and start all over again. When you don't hit number one, we go to two and three, maybe four. You know, your best fighters, you rarely get with one, the first, your core technique. Oftentimes, it's the two, three, and four. It's the same in striking. How often do you see a guy come out jab? No, it's the two, three, the four. Oftentimes, it knocks the guy down, right? Same thing with this. We need to link our attacks together. And most of you have this. If you'll notice, uh, I'm sticking to judo. I'm not dropping the singles, high singles, or, or doubles, because most of you have the skill set of judo, of judo takedowns. And these upper body holds, they come straight from Greco-Roman wrestling, but Greco guys aren't allowed to use the legs to execute sweeps and trips. It's kind of a combination. But they're very useful. Those guys are the best in the world at upper body tie-ups because their system of wrestling that's what they specialize in, is upper body wrestling. So we're taking basically Greco-Roman upper body work and combining it with judo attacks. You know? In the former Soviet Union, they used to have four, they do have, well, it's not the Soviet Union anymore, but there were four international styles of wrestling. The gi styles, the jacket styles, were sambo and judo. And the, the non-gi styles were freestyle and Greco. Those were the four international styles of wrestling, and they still are. So anyway, use these upper body holds. Try that. Try from your underhook, hit an Uchimata. Maybe you can't get him circling as much, so hit an Uchimata to raise him up and tilt him, and then execute the same skill we just did. But again, keep in mind, if you don't try, if he's going that way, that's the way you want to take him. That's the way you want to drive that knee pick. You want to drive him in the direction he's tilted. Don't let him back down and take him backward if he's tilting sideways. Okay, so get a feel. The only way, to, I mean, a thousand words is useless. You got to get out here and feel it. Feel which direction you got him going and then keep him going that way. All right, let's do it. It's a very simple technique here. We're going to keep the uh, camera rolling here. We're going to key in on um, Derek and Mike because they, they work a move here. Hey, Derek and Mike, what, he was having to do a knee tap. You've used successfully Uchimata to a, an ankle pick. Right. Can you guys demo that real right. quick here because okay. it keys in exactly what, what John was teaching. Okay, so we're going to use the turn and the underhook. Okay, so we'll have to get that underhook. Okay, and as we do that, we're going to come in and pick that leg up, drive with the, the underhook, and catch the catch the pick, gotcha. catch if the you, pick. If so you have trouble standing on one leg. Boom! There I go up, down. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, let me try to key in. Uh, stay stay one position. I'm going to try to key the camera. And I so there we go. Coming in now. I'm going to key it now. When you're there, now see that. And I'm trying to catch that pick. So there we go. And you catch the pick. And what you did, you it's just kind of meat hooked the ankle. Okay, w without throwing him, just, just kind of replicate that to how you grab that meat hook. As you lift up. Uh-huh. There, that we got we caught that. So that's what you want to do. And you if you can't get the knee tap, or you choose not to do the knee tap, some guys are that way. If if you've got the the ability to keep your leg up a little bit, it's just like doing that. You know, so right. what you're going to do is you're going to keep that leg up, use your underhook for support on him. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you're doing this, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we occasionally do Uchikomis where you're holding on to the guy and you're sweeping, right? So he's your base. Hold on to him. But hold on and as I lift up, you just lean over and down he goes. 
That's uh, from that Uchimata, yeah. Right. And I know you've used that successfully in Judo and Sambo, and you get that leg and you really, he's, that's, his, he, that's the thing that's only holding him out, that one foot, he's totally off balance. Yep. Yeah. And John was showing earlier, he could get the knee tap. Yes. Really depends on opportunity and, and uh, you know, preference, actually. Might catch that. Could be body weight. Heavier guys may go knee tap. Not always the case, though. Could go. Okay, thanks a lot.